What's up everyone, welcome back to the ultimate hunter's guide once again uh, Where we made it back to Anor Londo, not, fuck, what am I talking about? Uh, not Anor Londo, the asylum Here's what we're gonna do, I feel like me clearing out this area is gonna be fairly quick There's a couple of things we need to do, first of all get my souls back <clears throat> That's number one Second of all would be to pick up the crest shield which I'm never gonna use and rusted iron ring Can't forget about that rusted <laughs> Yeah, strong attack Imagine if I didn't know how to do a strong attack up to this point that would be That would be very very disappointing Here's the deal though peculiar doll useful sort of uh, the question is, do I want to pop a humanity? I don't even need to. Whatever, let's just get out of here. So in the last episode, I accidentally got myself into a fight with the... What's his name? Stray Demon. Which actually went, like, pretty good. It's not a difficult boss. Like, no one can say that that's a challenging one. Although, I did have trouble with him. Oh, hello there. How the fuck did you get all the way down here? Yeah, this is the disadvantage of this weapon. God, it's getting fat roll. Didn't quite work, did it? The crash shield is cool though. Poor Oscar. Poor any NPC that fat rolls. Do you guys not watch Dark Souls PvP on YouTube? Fat rolling ain't the way to go. Gotta be in Havel armor and ninja flip. That's that's how you are on your way to becoming a true Souls PvPer. How the hell are these guys deflecting this shit that much? Like, are you seeing this? That is, oh, because I'm not hitting with the, uh, yeah. I completely forgot. Uh, this weapon has a sweet spot mechanic as well. But... Most of the time you don't notice it, but if you do hit with the very tip, where the actual fire is, it goes through some things a little bit easier than the blunt end. And I ain't talking blunt like blunt, but the blunt, the not sharp and whatever, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. How the hell do I have... Oh, that's not... That's the wrong Dark Moon Tomb. I was getting it confused with the catacombs. Speaking of... Where do I want to go first? Why the fuck? Hold on. Okay, my face cam just went super blurry for a fa fraction of a second there. What the fuck, face cam? Stop acting up. Uh, we might as well get this item I'm never gonna use. And... Both the catacomb and... What's it called? New Lando lead to useful things. I think New Lando leads to more useful things. So we are going to New Lando for sure. Actually, we're not going to New Lando. And the reason we're not going to New Lando first is because... I completely forgot the entire reason I went to the asylum is to be able to get the rusted iron ring and get my weapon up to plus five. That's what we're gonna be doing. And the other thing I forgot, because it's been like three days since I recorded, is that I specifically picked up a prism stone or two uh, to be able to trade for a demon tide knight. Luckily, with the magical powers of... oh nice. Magical powers of editing, I will be able to... Fuck, I shouldn't do this with 37k. Whatever. The magical powers of editing, I should be able to... Get back to the asylum and it will just be like... A flash to you. Oh shit, yeah, there's one down here. We might not even need to. How did I think about it? Like... There's two of them here, right? 
Yeah, we don't even need to trade. If one of these fuckers kills me. Yeah, doing this without the rusted iron ring is an absolute goddamn nightmare. Um... And that's like putting it lightly. Oh, hello, lock on. Yes, please just break randomly. I was waiting to use my. What the fuck? Bruh. It must be like right on the edge of my aggro range. And probably it's getting pushed out. It's really strange. Anyways. So what I was going to say is, doing this without the rusted iron ring is an absolute goddamn nightmare. Luckily, with it, it becomes kind of easy. You just gotta fight a couple of demons. Okay, there should be one more buddy up there. Yes. Hiding out at the back. Oh, these things do take headshot damage. Do take headshot damage. God, I fucking can't even speak. Look at it. Snake hunting. I do wonder, you know, what snake tastes like. You know, they eat snakes in places like Vietnam, for example. I know they eat snakes. I mean, from what I've seen, like Anthony Bourdain ate them once. Uh, I think Gordon Ramsay as well. Pretty much. Oh, nice. Super lucky. Just check. Just check. I should have... Yeah. Because these ones only drop one. Uh, yeah. So back to my snake thing. I do wonder what they t taste like. They really look like fish. Like their meat. Uh, it pretty much just straight up looks like fish and I guess eels are pretty much a close relative. Why is the second one aggroing? These things have so much. You know what? It's more convenient for me to go back to the asylum. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you here. Yeah, fuck that noise. They're definitely gonna kill me. Uh, and this is 42,000 souls on the line. So yeah, I've had eel before. Which is nice, eel is pretty good. Especially how they prepare it in Japan. Where there's like a barbecue sauce on it. Barbecue type sauce on it and they grill it. That's pretty delicious. So I'm kind of assuming that's what snake would taste like. Yeah, I'm gonna save you the run back. Let's head back to the asylum. Okay, let's just make this quick and painless here. Let's go ahead and get a prism stone, which I don't know where they're located. There it is. Drop it. Okay. Quit and reload. And if we've done everything correctly, which I assume I have, I have. Okay. This changes everything. Sort of. Let's get this thing up to plus five. And then we really can get going into New Londo. Um, the thing about New Londo is... I won't be able to complete the area because I need the ring. However... New Londo already contains... Probably the best... But well, actually... Now that I think about it, shouldn't I just... Thinking a lot today. Shouldn't I just pick up the crest and then get the seeth or sith stuff over with? Not seeth, the sith stuff over with? I think I should. Because if I'm going to New Londo, I might as well just do the whole area if I'm there. The compound bow is what I'm going for, basically. It's what I'm trying to. It's what I'm like tiptoeing around, but that's what we're going for. And. If I'm there and I pick up the compound bow, I might as well just finish up the area, right? And for that, we do need to go through dark. Oh, this is a good area too. 
I fucking forgot about the Pharaoh stuff. Okay then. I retract everything. It's very much worth it to come here. I haven't decided out of these two bows which one I'm going to main. Uh, the compound bow is the best for actual combat. Like, by a mile. However, the black bow of Ferris is probably slightly more useful in what I'm using the bow for, which is sniping. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go with that. Because really, the... The thing about the compound bow is that it's meant for like short range combat. This is what I wanted to do here. Kindle this bitch up. A useful bonfire. Soul farming here is just absolutely ridiculous. But everybody knows that. It's the soul farming spot. Alright, bros. Where are you, invisible knight? I cannot... Like, come to this area and not man... Oh, fuck. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. I cannot, like, be in this area and not mention... The absolute insanity... When this came, this game came out, when enemies couldn't lock on to you if you had the Ring of Fog, that was that was quite a time period in the history of this game. Like initial initial fucking Dark Souls patch, patch 1.0. That was quite something. Not quite the game. <clears throat> it was a different beast. To put it very, very mildly. Mildly. I really can't talk today. Oh, backstab. It actually worked. The fucking audacity of this guy. Yeah. Convince me that falchions are not the best weapon class in this game. <laughs> or weapon type. You just keep swinging. And that's why, you know, you use one of these weapon types. What people would do is just get an absolutely ridiculous amount of stamina. And then it's like. Okay, let's not, you know, experiment. If I can't parry, I can't parry. Holy shit. <laughs> I kinda like it, not gonna lie. Okay, where is this asshole with the bow? I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably won't be able to out archery her. But I can certainly outswing her I gotta give it up that was a good bit of teamwork and a lot of damage cool that didn't work uh, where the fuck are they I do wonder if these two aggro together it kinda seems like it But I wonder if I pull... No, you, you can pull them separately. Which is good. Holy shit. Alright. You wanna go? We can go. Battle of the century. God, she fell off. Don't worry, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Oh, is she gonna be stupid? I think so. 
Oh, she has more range than I do. The black buff. What the hell? Do you ever feel like the game is cheating on the behalf of your enemy? Bro. Did you see that? Man. Yeah, she has a lot of range on that thing. Which, again, is appropriate. The Black Ball Ferris does have... They're going for it. I think I'm winning. I think I won. I definitely did. Twin Humanities, the Ferris hat, which... You're playing an archer. Is there any other hat to go for? And of course, the famous Black Bow of Ferris. S scaling in strength. Very, very strong, this thing. Uh, and it has, as the game very kindly mentions, it has a longer range than standard bows. Okay, so I'm gonna go and uh, upgrade this in a little bit. But for now, I think time has come to move on. I think I can do a Sif with 7 Estus, it shouldn't be a problem. And what I gotta come up with is some way to cosplay this dope hat, which is actually one of the few gender specific items in the game. It looks different, the hat looks different if you're a male character. Okay, let me just work this out. Okay, so no matter how I look at it, you gotta wear the uh, the leather set with this. Nothing else matches, at least nothing what I currently have matches. I'm guessing, I'm like 99% sure the Hollow Thief set would work with this uh, pretty well. But right now, again, this is the only thing I could think of. But maybe I'll I'll get some other stuff. I've been thinking of getting the Shadow set as well, the Ninja set, but I don't think that would work. And again, you know, I have limited uh, sort of limited chances to work with because my what you call it is quite low, my endurance. Cool. Let's do this. Should be fairly quick and simple. But this sort of weapon, Sif, is not gonna stand too much of a chance. That hat is dope, you gotta admit. Yeah, it's his fur. I wonder if they're gonna make a remaster of this game eventually. It would look dope, you gotta admit. A Demon's Souls style remaster. But I think I'm, I heard something about Bloodborne being on the remaster block next, which I would appreciate even though I sort of think the original Bloodborne sort of holds up just fine. But hey. I'll take updated Bloodborne visuals any day. Any opportunity to play more Bloodborne. Speaking of, I need to play more Bloodborne. Poor Sif, why are you so piss easy? Yeah. Poor Sif, she is not the strongest. Especially if you do it at this stage of the game. And of course, the final of the Night Rings, the Hornet Ring. It should come with an achievement, but I don't think it does. You're getting all four, although they're not very hard to get. Getting all rings 100% comes with an achievement, I know about that. But just these four on their own? Nah. Cool, so what are we going to level up? What is that? Four levels, so let's get one one of endurance and vitality. Oh shit, you know what? I just realized the Dark Moon Bow needs fucking faith, doesn't it? 
and I've not been. God damn it, Google. Fucking sixteen. Well, we're not getting that. Um, I sort of had some ambition to go for the Dark Moon bow, but I don't think I'm gonna ever be able to get to sixteen. Faith. That's faith, yeah. It's okay though. We'll we'll just demonstrate it. I tend to think, what am I doing? I can warp now. I tend to think that the Black Bow Ferris is way more useful anyways, so... I don't know. Certainly the Dark Moon Bow deals the most damage. Alright, let's just check out what we can do with this thing. I do have the resources to show, so it will, this should be pretty good. I do have the resources, so this should be pretty good here. Actually, I don't have that many resources. Fuck. Why did I think I was like overloaded with large shards and shit when I'm clearly not? <sighs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I think I'm still gonna pop into New Londo. Well, now definitely we can pop into New Londo. <clears throat> because we have the right equipment. Before we move on, we have one final pit stop to make, and that is here. Uh, because I think I finally have enough sort of not leftover but expendable souls that I can get some new arrow types should we go for fire or poison I feel like fire maybe maybe that's the more useful one currently and we can get poison later on okay now really actually we're going down to new Londo okay finally Thought I would never see this elevator. Like, I really was gonna start out with this. Like, I was like, yeah, let's go get to New Londo. And then I ended up basically not pissing away. That's not the right word because we did useful stuff throughout this episode. But, you know, we ended up getting distracted. But all of these distractions were useful. Like, you can't really complain. Get out of here. Yeah, uh, that's about all the fight he could put up. Kind of what I was expecting too. Oh, and there's one more distraction. The fucking Firekeeper's soul. Well done. Okay, we really are not gonna have time for... Like, new Londo proper. Because I want to get this. Definitely want to get this. And for that, we do need to pop a transient, which means I should go back and pick up a transient curse too. From the merchant again, don't worry, I'm not gonna subject you to that. I'm not an asshole. But getting this is fairly game. I knew you had my bad game. I just knew it. I was gonna... I was just about to say the only exception to that is if one of them actually drops transient curses. And look at that. Perfect. Uh, yeah, let's just head back via a homeward bone quickly here. And then we can turn it in. Turn it again. There's a red hot chili peppers deep cut for you. Cool. Plus three flasks now? Yes. Okay. Here's the deal. I think... I do have quite a lot to cut out from this episode. But I'm not sure. 
don't want to make this shit like so short but you know when with this format that i'm doing now this edited edited format it is sometimes difficult to gauge length like episode length because right now i have 35 minutes of footage and i do have a fair bit to cut out i'm not sure i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here uh and we can get a fresh start next time as we descend into Nuevo Londo. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you later. Goodbye.